Hi, I'm Richard. Sorry? I said, I'm Richard. I just wanted to introduce myself. Hi, Dan. Okay. Nice to meet you. Um, we're having a riveting conversation. It just seems like we're talking about a lot of things that aren't having to do with... Did you man interrupt her just now, sir? She, he just man interrupted you. Holy shit! I just everything. Go That's not important. Anyways, but... The reason I want to talk to you was about the book, because I couldn't help it over here. We're talking about a lot of things, and the only thing I want to talk about was the book, and I'm hoping that... Did you write the books? I did not. I did not write the book. But I think it is an important message, and I don't want to talk about anything else other than the book, See Us for Consent. And I know that, as a kid sometimes, they're like adults that want to touch or kiss you and you don't want to. Right, like, right. Have you ever experienced that? Was That's cool. totally fine. I think... I think... Cool. What what people know about the the drag queen story hour is a a few of the drag queens have been past convicted uh, sex offenders. Is that your concern? That's one. The other thing is that it's not always the books aren't always like C's for consent. A lot of them are like let's deconstruct white people or like male maleness or masculinity is intrinsically like a problem or stuff like that. Let's deconstruct whiteness and gender and stuff like that. And uh, being read by men who are wearing hypersexualized women's clothing, I think a lot of people are just. Excuse me. No, we're, we're she keeps a, like blasting, blasting yeah, me here. We're trying. To, I want to have a conversation with you. I don't want to think about anyone who's interjecting. Right. That's not gonna be helpful. And I just want to know, like, what are your? Concerns? You're dumb. They what just keep your, saying that I'm dumb. Be, right. So you're, you had mentioned concerns about the other drag queens. I just hoping that you know you might learn more about the, the specific book that's here. I don't know anything about any other drag queen reading hour other than the one that's here. So I can't talk to you about any of that. That's what's up. But I do think, you know, so I want to know. If you're engaging, if you're just helping me. Oh, great. Uh, stuff for the channel. I don't That's fine. Why not? Why don't? Why are you guys not Listen, recording your own shit? Because it's fucking boring, dude. No, it isn't. It's, in, it's illuminating. Anyways. It's enlightening. Course, this dude's like a I, bourgeois, I boutique fucking idiot. I want to have kids one day. And I think from what I've heard about this book... I can't say I'd buy it because I haven't looked at it. I want to go to the library and take a look at it. Sure. But it seems like a good idea because I'm sure that we all know people in our lives who have been touched in ways that they didn't like to be touched, even if it was kind of innocuous and made them feel uncomfortable. And I think it would be really good that if at a young age, more people learn how to be like confident in their own bodies, learn how to express their boundaries, and we're like respectful of other people's boundaries. And so... Is putting a two-year-old in front of like a drag queen sort of a, a boundary like a breach of a boundary or no I mean I couldn't I couldn't say like I remember as a kid even being weirded and freaked out by clowns dude and that that's like innocuous compared to that's, arguably that's like okay. an intrinsically sexual scene which is drag queens like that's yeah, and I would in hope. and of itself like a sex and drug scene which I would, I would hope that that's sort of like the main that's the main like problem people have with it I would say that's from fine. either secular or like I haven't seen the extremist Christians yet but I don't think back heat. honestly I think that Straight up. <laughs> Yikes, yeah, dude. I honestly did look. I didn't see any, like, plans to come harass. I think they're, you know, they probably still think that it's at the... Uh, River West Public House? Yeah. I doubt I that there was even anyone there. Were they banned? They banned an OI ban because they thought they were white supremacists, but OI, that. That OI is not... That's pretty stupid. OI is not intrinsically... Uh, That's pretty silly. But... <laughs> Anyways, I guess I just wanted to encourage Whoa. you to like, learn more about the book, because I think that we could disagree on anything else, but I'm sure if you have like, nieces or nephews or kids of your own, you'd want them to learn how to comfortably say, like, I'm not in the mood for a hug today, Grandma, or something like that, and I think that's a good message, and you don't have to dress up like a woman and read it to them, but I hope you'll look at the book and see if it's something that you would agree with generally speaking. And that's all I came out here to say. And I don't think any other conversation with you... <laughs> people is going to be productive for anyone. Uh, it's fine. I mean, I just, I, I got somebody saying that kids are sexual and that was yikes department. I didn't hear that, that was... so I can't comment on that. Well, you'll see it. You'll, you'll see it. Um, okay. Well. The algorithm will suppress it. Very few people will see it, but if you're so inclined, you'll be able to see it. That's all I came to say. So, thank you for listening to me. It's what's up, dude. Thank you. It's the Michael Myers get up, though. That's rad.